Bright Carbon, as of today, state law bans the open carry of guns in Connecticut, while also strengthening the laws around how guns and ammunition are stored, all in hopes to keep something like this from happening again. Watertown police say around 1230 Saturday afternoon, officers were called to a home on Hadley Street for a 14 year old boy with a gunshot wound to the head. Officers believe the boy accessed an unsecured gun from inside the home. Police say they believe the gun was fired unintentionally. The boy was taken to a local hospital where he remains in critical condition. This is not the life you want to be living. This stinks. It's horrible. Kristen Song knows the pain of losing a loved one to an unsecured weapon. Her 15 year old son, Ethan, died after visiting a friend's home back in 2018. And unfortunately, on that day, um, his friend had loaded the gun at a, on a prior occasion and didn't remember, didn't realize that a bullet can get caught in the chamber. And uh, unfortunately, my son was the one who paid the price. Following his death, Ethan's parents were driven to make sure change would happen so his death would not be in vain. Connecticut passed Ethan's law in 2019, which required gun owners to safely store guns and ammunition that can't be accessed by minors. Well, I think it's important that as we talk today on October 1st and we have expanded the safe storage laws, it's, a, it's the exact kind of thing that we need because we do know that statistically safe storage saves lives and also prevents injuries. As of now, state law requires that gun owners safely secure and store their guns and ammunition no matter the age of who lives in the home. Um, safe storage is something that is taught um, to all gun owners. It's even something that the NRA preaches. Um, there is just no reason why a six-year-old should be accessing a firearm, and there's no reason why... Um, why gun owners shouldn't be locking up their guns um, when, when they're not using them. Which is why Representative Rosa Delario is pushing for similar legislation on a national level. Unless we take action on this, innocent children will continue to harm themselves or continue to die, and that is totally unacceptable. And Kristen Song urges gun owners to look into a pin code or biometric gun safe, which many can be bought online for under 100 bucks. It's also important to note that Watertown police have not said whether any charges will be filed, but the incident remains under investigation. Live in studio, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.